Yeah. Eric Bischoff claims the reason that you, I guess you were let go is because you would not show up at the power plant to train. Is that true? No. It's a bunch of bullshit. They, they never sent my notice in the first place. And they're lying like hell if they say they did because they got no proof of it. Uh, what I was doing, I was doing these video games up in Vancouver for EA uh, Electronic Arts. Right. And I was doing, going to the power plant. And then they wanted me to go to the new TV. But I've had three guys call me and tell me which way to go. You know, one of them said, one of them said, we're coming to the power plant this week. One of them said, they'll be at TV Tuesday. And then they said, well, you got to go to Canada. So, huh. that's a bunch of bullshit, you know. They're all lying if they say that. I've always been showing up for towns. What exactly happened? I mean, what, what I, didn't, I didn't get no check. You just... So I called my and said, I still had not get my check. I said, well, you've been released. So I didn't know that. I suppose I had a job for, for life, you know. Huh. That's one of the reasons, too, I did all of them, all of them, putting the guys over, you know. Right. I was trying to figure out what doing them for the best for the company, you know. That was a big whopper. How come you only worked for uh, a short time in ECW when you returned? I have no idea. He probably just brought me up there, two oh, shows, and uh, I beat the guys up and left. <laughs> I mean, he never said. I was supposed to go to work for him. Right. The train guys and stuff like that, I think. Yeah, I do, I do. And, you know, I was going to be able to stay in Charlotte, too, see? Right. So he told me I was on the... He said, that as of right now, you're on, you're on the payroll. Huh. <laughs> I don't even get it. Yeah. You. Um, how did you wind up working for uh, the World Wrestling Federation as a trainer? Well, they'd called me before that, see. Uh, they wanted me to, wanted me to, to uh, run the, run, do the wrestling school. I'm not sure whereabouts, you know. Uh, and then Paulie, Paulie had called me. I'd heard stories about people not getting the money, you know, but, right. uh, you know, I got paid two times I was there, you know. Plus, he, he had to offer me more money. Then I, then I went to uh, Charlotte because they wanted, me, they wanted me to come down there and talk to Jim Ross. So that's why I wound up in, went to, to Memphis. MCW, then, I think. Yeah, they went to uh, Louisville. I guess what were the circumstances around you being let go with uh, the WF as a trainer? Was it just because Vince got rid of all those, those territories? No, um, well, they switched me to Louisville. I'm, that's where I'm at now. Right, Ohio, um, I had a little problem with a guy down there, you know. He, you know, I was supposed to be in charge of the school. And this guy just, I don't know why he didn't like, he didn't like me. I was telling Stan earlier, like, like on the you know, I was supposed to be in charge of it and everything. Right. But I was driving like 70 miles each day because I was staying with a friend of mine. I was going from there to Memphis every day. And this guy would call the guys and tell them that the school had been canceled, but I don't, nobody ever, he wouldn't call me. Huh. And he didn't have no authority to do that. Right. And then, I, like, he gave, uh, which I've never heard before this in my life. I've heard of being off on Christmas and stuff like that, but he gave my whole week off for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never heard of that before in my life. He's know? a hopeless romantic. Yeah. <laughs> Then I went down there again after that. He had changed the locks on the, on the school. So, hmm. so they just they called me and said, Bruce Pritchard called me and said, I've been released. I said, for what? He was he must have been doing TV or something because he was just in a pain. He was blah, blah, blah. I said, what? Then Dennis Brent called me right back. I asked me how I felt like coming to Louisville. I said, that's fine. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up. Fight! forever don't give up fight forever don't give up fight forever fight forever and ever and ever and ever <laughs>